everyone welcome to seed to life today in this video i'm going to talk about another interesting phytomedicine or medicinal plant that is also my favorite leafy vegetable it is not just a medicinal plant and a super food but also can act as an ornamental plant in your garden it will add more beauty to your garden by filling it up with vibrant red and purple colors we are going to talk about red amaranth or amaranthus cruentus plant today you might know it by the name pigweed, rajagira, lal mat, mexican grain amaranth, chira or wavtil. And because of the beautiful red flowers, it is also known as love lies bleeding or velvet curtain. As I mentioned earlier, it is a superfood that is rich in proteins and loaded with tons of multivitamins and minerals. It can address many of our nutritional deficiencies and other health problems like anemia, GI problems, hypertension, obesity and many more. Amaranthus is one of the most ancient crops in the world and it was cultivated by Aztecs about 6000 to 8000 years ago. There are some very interesting stories about the history of this plant. I am posting the link in the description if you are interested. As a gardener, I am highly impressed with this plant. It is considered as a super food like Moringa or Miracle Tree. Amaranth is extremely useful because each and every part of the amaranthus is edible. You can not only eat leaves but also seeds and stalks and even roots are edible. Roots and stalks are peeled and they are used in a mixed vegetable stew. The leaves can be used in salads, stir fries and various types of Asian and African curries. Seeds of amaranth are used as grain in many countries. I know it by the name Rajgira. It has a very distinct flavor. Puffed amaranth seeds are used in many sweet snacks and drinks like atole, as well as it is used to make flour. Amaranth flour is gluten free and I make puris that is a type of Indian bread with that flour. And my kids love these puris. Now let me tell you something very funny. I have been eating these snacks all my life and I have grown these vegetables for many years now and I didn't know that the seeds that I use like the puffed seeds they come from this vegetable. Today when I was recording how to save the seeds they smelled familiar and that is when I looked up on the internet and I realized and discovered a whole new truth about this plant. Now you must be wondering if I am growing these plants for many years, how come only today I save them? The reason is that these plants grow like weeds. Every plant produces tons of seeds that are very tiny and smooth. And these seeds are also very durable and survive in harsh conditions. I never had to save these seeds. These plants practically grow on their own. Amaranth plants do not survive during winter. I used to remove them and put them in the compost bin and the next season in very early spring you'll see the hundreds of tiny seedlings filling up my garden beds. There are 60 to 70 varieties of amaranthus in the world and I have two to three different varieties and there is a green one, red one and then the mixed green and red and the green one is extremely fast growing and now that I know that it grows like wheat. I have stopped putting them in directly in the compost bin. Instead, I let the plants dry and then I burn them. That way I destroy the seeds and I, then they don't grow back where I don't want them to grow. And this is how the tiny seedlings appear as the frost period is over. The seedlings then grow rapidly. In my region, predicting weather is always tricky. You might feel that the winter is over one morning and just in few minutes the cold wave comes back and then everything changes. But these plants are really hardy. Taking warmth from mulched garden beds, they continue to grow rapidly. In my observation, red amaranthus is not as invasive as green ones. My green amaranth plant grows taller than the apple tree. I let it grow for a few weeks and just to see how tall it can grow and it just amazed me. Red ones are comparatively shorter than the green ones. So now we know we don't have to do anything special to grow amaranth. It grows best in sunny location. It is not frost tolerant and doesn't do well at temperatures below 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius. 
Of course it grows well in nutrient rich soil but even if you don't provide it lot of nutrition it is still fine that way even though it, it won't provide larger leaves it will still survive the leaves range in color from pink to red to purple or even mixed red and green color you can harvest only leaves or even leaves and stems appearance wise you can either prune the plant in early stages by pruning cutting off the branches and make it look fuller or you can let the main stalk grow by harvesting only the leaves for first few harvests and then it that way the plant becomes much taller and adds beauty to the landscape the side shoots they keep, still keep growing and they grow the side branches and uh, the eventually the plant will look bigger and more beautiful now let's talk about seeds as the temperature goes above 85 degrees celsius fahrenheit or 30 degrees celsius the plants start producing seeds tiny flowers and seed pods develop on sides and at the top of the stems and they look gorgeous soon these pods fill with these beautiful tiny and shiny black seeds they are extremely smooth and if you're not careful at this point then trust me they'll just keep germinating in nearby spots and growing more and more plants to save these harvested seeds for the next season you can just put them in a bag and shake the bag well you can also crush the seed pods with your hands to allow the seeds to drop off easily the seeds then fall down at the bottom of the bag and then you can collect them the seeds are mixed with leaves and dried petals and you have to further separate the seeds at this point take a colander keep a bowl underneath to collect these tiny seeds put the seeds mixed with leaves in the colander and the seeds fall down in the bowl the holes in my colander are not very small so even after doing this i still see some dried petals to remove them just blow off these petals while shaking the bowl like this you can then save these seeds in an airtight container or seed bag and save them in dry cool and dark place gardening is very cool as you know more about from where your food comes from or the history behind it it makes you health conscious and you feel motivated to make healthy choices in your diet now the plants that i am growing is a wild variety but the cultivated seeds are not black but they are white in color i forgot to mention this earlier just for fun we decided to pop some of these seeds to make puffed rajagira or amaranth and this is what happened I was expecting a color change to white after popping but I did ended up burning them and the color didn't change but they popped and it was fun watching them jump in the pan Thank you for watching my video if you like the channel please subscribe to my channel seed to life and post your suggestions in the comment sections below click on the bell icon to get notified about the new videos and updates thank you again see you soon